for both parties, both National and Labor, if they want to work with New Zealand First, they have to meet and, and continue to promote the same principles and qualities that we do. You've got to be prepared for when we put our foot down to negotiate. Yeah, so this is kind of the main part of, of Dargaville. Oh, look, it doesn't look much different than what it was when I was um, growing up here. Uh, but it's, oh, it's good to be back, that's for sure. <laughs> Brings back memories, I tell you. <laughs> you, know, you know, Winston ha has had a lot to do with not just Dargaville, but Northland in general. When they come here, it's kind of like the Queen or the King come in here kind of thing, you know. It's, it's actually the whole kind of town stops and, you know, hey, Winston, you know. And I guess and that's in a lot of the kind of, a lot of the smaller towns around New Zealand where Winston is a champion for those rural communities. I say I was, I was a real privileged uh, young person. Uh, now look, we weren't the richest family in the world, um, but we had the basics, you know, we had a TV, we had uh, a roof over our head, we had food in our stomach. But I know that there are a lot of families out there that didn't. The last nine years of a national-led government have literally deprived and neglected these communities. That's why I support New Zealand First, because it's about investing into communities that have been neglected over a national-led government. Hello, man, how are you? Oh, you? oh my goodness, you're a giant. <laughs> Gosh, it's been ages, hasn't it? Oh, years, years. Jay decided to run for student representative oh, at our boy, high yeah. school um, on the board and his speech made quite an impact on everyone and specifically the school hierarchy. Because, um, yeah, it wasn't really uh, supporting them. <laughs> well, when especially, have I ever been, you know, following Especially the, the principal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that was the first time that I saw politics as a possibility. And then obviously Winston um, has always been a, you know, uh, childhood favourite. You know, you know when you see those people on TV and you're like, if I want to meet that person, yeah. like that was me with, you know, with Winston. Yeah. I was like, man, I want to meet that person. And then, there you go. <laughs> two years later, yeah. Jay, uh, can, uh, yeah. you know, New Zealand person, mate? Sure. It's crazy. He used to call you the Prime Minister. <laughs> wow, hey, you never know. One day we might. Yeah, yeah. Shall I read his report? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I oh, did my some... goodness. Well, you know I did my research, <laughs> eh? <laughs> the summary of the comment here is that he is a passionate young man and will pursue things um, with a dogma. And if he sees an injustice and he sees a wrong, he will do everything within his power to make it right. But my office still looks the same, mate. Eh? Nothing's changed, but mm. Wellington knows this. Yeah. We're not sitting in no desk. Oh, eh? Mum and Daddy aren't rolling up in the range right now. They, they've forgotten us. Really? Thank you. Good chat. We'll do. So, yeah, so this is um, Dargaville High School. This is the high school I spent for the first three years of my secondary education. So actually, Winston Peters um, was, uh, was the old boy here, and he was the captain of the first 15. During the Northland by-election, we, uh, we actually said to the principal at the time, hey, look, let's get Winston in. You know, he's coming to town, let's get him in. Uh, the principal said no, and I thought, hey, look, no, that's fine. You know, it's a non-political, no political stuff in, in school. That, that's Kate the Pie. But then about two days later, we get an invite to talk to the National um, Party candidate, uh, Mark Osborne, and I thought, what? What, you know, what the hell, what, what, what's going on here? You know, this is totally unfair. So I stormed straight past um, the principal's secretary office, um, <laughs> went straight to the principal's office and said, hey, look, Mr. Barge, what's going on? Why, why? He basically turned around and said, hey, look, Jay, look at, look at the values on our wall. And he pointed to integrity and he said, Winston doesn't have integrity. That was the moment I said, no, that's absolutely wrong. You are wrong. Stormed out of his office, ran downtown, listened to Winston and then ran back to school. Ever since then, it's kind of been a bit of a, you know, I'm going to prove you wrong. As a chairman of an organisation, I think it's important that you go out there and you meet the people. 
What I would hate to do is sit in Auckland and kind of delegate via, you know, Facebook and digital technology. Uh, you know, kahunui ki te kahunui, uh, face to face is really important. So that's what today's trip is also about, is getting to know uh, the regions and the, the people that make up young New Zealand first. We're at the uh, University of Canterbury. Uh, definitely exciting. It's not every youth wing has a chair that comes all the way from Auckland to attend these events. I do feel a little bit overdressed at the moment. Um, if I didn't have meetings, then <laughs> I'd probably be like everybody else, shorts and a tee. But hey, that kind of goes to show the, the value of taking this serious, eh? Hi. You guys want to vote in our poll? So you just kind of put a sticker whether you agree or disagree with these policies. What we've decided to do is just put five key issues that young people are really passionate about and then um, say, you know, whether they agree with it or disagree with it and illustrate the party's position on them as well, so yeah. What is the party's position on some of those? Oh, look, we definitely believe putting New Zealanders first. That, that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be looking at how we can uh, look at getting different perspectives um, and, and going back to the board and saying, hey, look, this is, um, this is young New Zealand first and these are what young people are really passionate about, so yeah. Are we, what, what's our position on that? Referendum. Oh yes, that's right. That's why most of these are pretty like, easy to talk yeah. about because we support referendum. When I was chair, I was happy to be places and I was happy to influence um, and now it's his turn. It's now it's his turn to go from campus to campus and um, engage with students, build the rapport of Young New Zealand first and um, also build up his experience and position in the role. He's got that life experience that I don't have in the business community and that's allowed him to create a different and new approach uh, with new energy and uh, a new focus and that renewed focus is just what we've got here today and that's uh, why we've got so many sign-ups, why we've got so much engagement and why we've had such a great day. So this is Young, young New Zealand First. Okay. Have you heard of Winston Peters and, you know, the government, Jacinda Ardern? Yeah. I yeah, know. so they're in, in government with New Zealand First. Okay. Are you interested in kind of... Um, getting involved in like government stuff, so learning policies and how government works and but even you know how, how we can make the process easier for you guys from India to come here and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Your immigration should be a little more liberal, okay. <laughs> well you know that kind of stuff is all about up for discussion, right? You know, that's how we make it happen is by talking to each other. Yeah. So you know if you if you're if you're right, like if you want to participate. Yeah, yeah sure. Do we have some stickers guys? Hey, Nikki Wagner's coming. Nikki, good morning. How are you? Nice to see Nats here. Mm. I heard your uh, economic you your economic policy was released the other day. Yeah, it was uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Is it today or the yeah, day before? Uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah, yeah yesterday. yesterday. That's quite exciting. Yeah, it's actually quite a good policy too, I think. You know, oh, quite far reaching. Yeah, definitely. I was reading it the other day and yeah. it was quite. And I think we're quite brave to put numbers on it because it's all very easy to make platitudes and say we're going to make mm. the world wonderful and everything Definitely. Else. But to actually Sorry, I do have to take this. Yeah, Hello, Jane McLaren-Harris. Throughout my entire life, it's been community engagement, regardless of what title I wear. Uh, I'm for the people, and I will work, and I will travel, and I will uh, dedicate my time to ensuring that we build a better Aotearoa. I might fly around the country and get to go and meet some really cool people, but actually at the end of the day, you know, I'm here to enhance the betterment of, of New Zealanders. And that's just as simple as that. <laughs>
definitely excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, uh, I'm fired up and ready to go, and so are all the young people here at Young New Zealand First. This weekend is, is evidence to show that, you know, we are a party of order and stability. And the polls might say that we're under 5%, but actually, as Winston said this morning, uh, for years, everybody said that New Zealand First would never get in. Uh, but every year, bar one, we've uh, succeeded and we've ex exceeded every expectation. Who do I aspire to be like? It's this man right there, you know, who's a public servant of our country, you know, who's been serving for so many years. He's the guy that I, I definitely look up to. And on the streets of Darsville, I ran into him one day. <laughs> and he was what? When he was listening to my campaign stump speech, and I thought that guy looks like he uh, would be a member of Darsville High School, uh, and he was. That's what I first met. Mm. And you know, we went back to Darsville about uh, was it three weeks ago, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, on the same corner that we uh, we first met. So that's quite exciting. I set the bar as high as my predecessors have. Some of my predecessors are now standing as candidates. So hey, you never know. Come next election, we might see a uh, uh, former Young New Zealand First Chairman standing as well. <laughs> Maybe.